Today on Review This Thing, we're going to shoot three different Foxtrot loads out of this Winchester SXP Longbeard with an Indian Creek 5.62 choke. This is Robbie with Review This Thing. Well, today we're going to shoot three different Foxtrot loads. We're going to shoot all three loads at 40 yards and then move the target out to 60 and shoot them again. Out of this Winchester SXP Longbeard, topped with the Williams Gun Sight LRS and finished off with the Indian Creek 5.62 choke. Let's see what they'll do. Let's start with these nines. That's what you've seen us shooting on the channel so far. You've already seen us shoot these out of the 555 choke. So let's see what they do with this one. I'm just gonna aim where I normally would and hopefully we get good results. Oh yeah, looks good from here. I see quite a bit of splatter on that Birchwood Casey target. So it looks like it shot just a little bit low. And if we were hunting with that round, we'd want to raise it up just a little bit. All right, for that load, we had 179 in the six inch circle and 295 in the 10 inch circle. And next up is a duplex eight by nine load. So there's eight shot and nine shot in here. You would expect a few less pellets overall than those nines. But let's see what we can do with it. Oh, wow. From here, it looks like there's a, maybe a dime-sized hole in the target. We just should see what that looks like whenever we get there. So that one looks like it packed a good punch. It does look like there's probably fewer pellets, but there's that dime-sized hole I was talking about. That's a lot of pellets right there in that hole. For the heavier eight by nine load, we would have anticipated a few less shot, but we actually had more, 216 in the six inch circle and 304 in the 10 inch circle. The last load before we move to 60 is an eight and a half by nine duplex load. <laughs> oh man, I just went ahead and I've hit a little low on those last two. So I just went ahead and aimed at his head and I can't wait to see what the target looks like up close. <laughs> oh, wow. That one looks pretty doggone good too. I wonder if this one will count as good as it looks. But wow, that looks like a lot of pellets in his head. I guess it all depends on which constriction those loads like the most. This one had 266 in a six inch circle and 350 in a 10 inch circle. That's pretty doggone good. You guys have seen us do this before, but we're moving the target to 60. And you know what I'm getting ready to say, but we don't ever expect to shoot a turkey at 60. We don't want to shoot a turkey at 60, but here it goes. The Crusher number nines at 60. I can't see it good from here, but I bet we've still got some pellets in that turkey's head. Let's go check. So it's been a little while since I've shot a TSS load at 60, but that's still pretty impressive. It looks like it did drop just a little bit. So if he's out there and ain't coming and you decide that you want to shoot, just might have to aim just a little bit higher. Here's the crazy part. Probably shouldn't shoot at 60, but it's very surprising numbers with 86 in a 6 inch circle and 185 still in that 10 inch circle at 60 yards. And trying to keep it in the same order as we did at 40, here's the 8 by 9s. I'm going to aim just a little bit higher, like we were talking about at that last target. Let's go see what it looks like. So those 8 by 9s definitely dropped more. You can see there's quite a bit right down there below the target. Interesting, I guess the eights are a little bit heavier, so it makes sense that they would drop a little bit. You can see this one still dropped quite a bit, but surprisingly enough, this load had 86 pellets in a six inch circle, which is exactly the same as the number nines, and 184 in a 10 inch circle, which is only one pellet shy of the number nines. And the last one at 60 yards is going to be the Crusher 85 by 9s
We shall see. It's interesting to me just how much all of those loads have dropped. Quite a bit of pellets down here. There's still a few, I mean, there's still quite a few pellets in the target. And of course, as you would expect, we lost a lot of shot too. I can't believe it, but this is the exact same pellet count as what was in the eight by nines. So we've got 86 in the six inch circle and 184 in the 10 inch circle. All three of those loads perform really well out of that gun with the Indian Creek 562 choke. The eight and a half by nine had the best pattern at 40 yards and they all three were basically exactly the same at 60 yards. I think we've said it enough times in this video already, but I wouldn't say shoot at 60. So what we've learned today is figure out which load you wanna go with and enjoy the hunt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Foxtrot Batter Tested video. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. Uh, go to our holler store. Don't forget to check, up, check out ReviewThisThingTV.com. Sign up to our newsletter. And make sure you drop by the Review This Thing TV Amazon store.